Rafael Nadal clenched his fists and roared at the US Open on Monday. He had just broken Francis Tiafo's serve to take a 3-1 lead in the fourth set, reclaiming the momentum against an inspired, much younger American opponent who had cracked before it with a major upset in reach. It looked, from long and recent experience, as if Nadal was teeing up another comeback victory in a career defined by in a moment grit. But a strange thing happened on the way to another revival. Nadal lost his serve and his way in the next game under the closed roof of Arthur Ashe Stadium, and though he still scrapped and whipped his trademark topspin forehand, he was ultimately unable to avoid an unpleasant fourth-round surprise. He would not win another game as Diafo, who had never won a set against him in their previous two matches, prevailed, 6-4, 4-6, 6-4, 6-3. I played a bad match, and he played a good match, and at the end, that's it, no? Nadal said at a news conference afterward, I was not able to hold a high level of tennis for a long time. I was not enough quick on my movements. He was able to take the ball too many times very early, so I was not able to push him back. As Nadal, clear-eyed in victory and defeat, pointed out, tennis matches often come down to court position. Tiafo spent most of the match on or inside the baseline, taking quick cuts and finishing with 49 winners. Nadal spent too much of the match well behind the baseline, sprinting to the corners and lunging to extend rallies, or not. His game lacked spark and depth. If you lose the battle of position, Nadal said, you need to be very, very quick and very young. Then Nadal, 36, smiled, not because he was content but because he had set up his next line. I am not in that moment anymore, he said. This was Nadal's earliest defeat at a major tournament in more than five years and the first time he had been beaten in any major in 2022, a strange and potent brew of a season full of unexpected joy and pain. This should go down as one of Nadal's greatest campaigns, not his most complete season but the year he took the lead over his longtime rivals Roger Federer and Novak Djokovic in the chase to finish with the most Grand Slam singles titles. Nadal won his 21st at the Australian Open and his 22nd at the French Open and came within striking range of his 23rd at Wimbledon before an abdominal injury forced him to retire before the semi-finals. That injury cost him preparation time ahead of the U Open. He played just one official match before New York, losing to Borna Chorich in the round of 32 at last month's Western and Southern Open. But Nadal, so familiar with the comeback trail, was able to train with full intensity in Ohio, pushing himself on the practice courts with coaches Mark Lopez and Francisco Roch and doing the same in New York after Carlos Moya, the lead member of his coaching team, arrived. Nadal has triumphed without ideal preparation throughout 2022.